Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is going to be part two in uh, my DCS World basic basics of mission editing with the mission editor in DCS. Uh, last time out, we, we covered some very basics of showing you around the mission editor and what are the most important things to use to place an aircraft, put you in the pilot's seat, change your payload, add a waypoint, and get up in the air and fly the mission from the mission editor interface. This time out, we're going to add a few more things to the process. Uh, and as always, I hope you enjoy this video and I hope it's helpful for you. All right, here we are back in the mission editor. At this point, I want to place something to shoot at. Now you can look at this little ruler down here and it shows you what two nautical miles is. And as you zoom in and out, that range changes. Now, an easy little trick is they have the icon here that says use ruler. So I'm going to highlight that. While that's illuminated, I can now hit my left button on my mouse and then hold it and drag. And when I let go, it's going to give me a range. So 31 miles is EJ-12. Okay, I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to grab a new plane. I'm going to pick Russia. I'm going to pick Combat Air Patrol. I'm going to pick MiG-15. I'm going to pick good for the skill level. And I'm going to place it now at EJ-12. Boom. I'm going to leave it at turning point. I'm going to change the altitude to 10,000 feet, 460 knots, and the waypoint is highlighted right now. I'm just going to send them this way. Now at this point, I want to go to my payload and see what I got, because he's empty right now. He ain't got nothing. Let's give him some fuel. I don't think there's, let's see, fighter sweep doesn't change anything, it just gives him more fuel. Let's take that one, we'll do that. And you can also choose what skin you want for it. Yeah, red looks cool, right? So now I got somebody to shoot at me, which is pretty cool. I'm going to highlight this fighter sweep and I'm going to go edit. I want to see what the uh, task is that's enabled. So. Starting the in route task happens at waypoint one. We could do search then engage. Or we could do search then engage in the zone. Now I'm going to grab this with the left mouse button and I'm going to pull this over here. So basically, that's going to look in this area at this point, anything within that bubble. Now at this point, I can make this bubble bigger. We can go 20,000, or we can go 200, and it makes this, the area bigger. But we don't want to confuse them, so we're going to bring that back a little bit. We'll go 20,000, that's a reasonable area. Now I'm going to right-click at a blank point in the map at this point to get out of this so I don't start to screw this up. Boom. That's done. Now, let's say you want to add a friend to your mission, and uh, you want your friend to play with you. We're going to grab, add or modify a plane again. We're going to go back to USA. We're going to pick a module that you and your friend own. So, for argument's sake, we're just going to pick another F-18 Hornet. I'm going to place him pretty much right next to the other one. So you're beginning basically at the same point. And we're going to pick skill client. And to make things simple, I'm just going to give him the same waypoint I gave you to begin with to get you guys going in the same direction so you're facing the same way when you start, etc, etc. I'm going to put you at 10,000 feet. 350 knots is fine. And I'm just going to pick a payload. I think this is what we chose before, air to air with fuel. I'm going to pick VFX9 again, so you guys match. And pretty sure that's all I gotta do. I'm gonna I'm gonna right-click right now to 
undesignate that. And I'm going to zoom in and want to make sure. Yeah, he's set for cap. And I'm going to right click before I click again. And he's set for cap. Always right click before you click something because, you know, you end up doing whatever this item is highlighted to do. Just kind of a rule of thumb that I do to make things a little simpler. So now, we're going to save our mission. Now the key thing is, is you want to make sure that you and your friend have this mission. So you're going to email him this MIS file or put it on Google Drive so you can download it together, etc. Uh, I wish DCS would see that there was a mission running and then automatically download it like some other games kind of do sometimes, but they haven't quite got that far, unfortunately. Um, and now you can fly this mission and I'm going to show you, we're going to go fly mission. And now that we have more than one client or a player and a client, yes, I already saved this. Sometimes it does that. So now that we have a player and a client, you've got the option now to choose your role. So I'm going to jump into that new plane. And here I am in that new plane. I'm going to hit escape now and go to choose slot. Now that I have more than one plane in here, you're going to have an option at the escape that says choose slot. And I can just as easily jump over to this guy. And here we are. Should go pit bull pretty soon and just take him out. And this is pretty much what I do. Boom, dead. Going down. When I get a new module, I'll create a couple simple missions, throw some air targets in here, throw some ground targets in here, and just start practicing. Or use the included, you know, instant action missions. But again, the key thing is, is you don't have to do that. And the quick mission generator in DCS really sucks, and I hate to use it. It, it can only be used as a tool sometimes to set up some parameters for you ahead of time to begin to create a mission from the mission editor. But again, this is what you can do to set it up yourself and uh, be in complete control. Let's add one more. Let's pick another plane to add to the map. We're going to choose Russia again. And this time, we're going to choose a Su-27. Now I'm going to set him in the same area as this guy. Boom. Now that I've placed him, I'm going to choose Client. Bad guy plane. Now, at the same time, up here, it has the number of units of so many. So if I click this little arrow right here next to this one under of, now I've created two. So that's going to be two Su-27s. One can be the leader and the other can be the wingman. And we're going to leave them at client. And I'm going to change them to 10,000 feet. 350 knots. I'm going to go add a waypoint now. Why is it under the wrong heading? Right click. If you get in trouble, just right click. I'm going to left click to highlight him. I'm going to go add. There we go. It was stuck under advanced waypoint actions. And we're going to throw that waypoint over here, just like we did before. 
Now we're going to go to advanced and we're going to click this and we're going to edit it and we're going to change that to search then engage in zone and it's going to create that box. Now I'm going to grab that box with the left and I'm going to drag it. Damn it, this thing is in the way. So I'm going to go right mouse somewhere dead on the map and then I'm going to go left mouse to click and hold to pull this thing over this way. And then I'm going to right click to make it go away. Boom. So now I'm going to right click and grab and pull it back over and now I'm going to left click on that group that I created. We're going to change it to bad guy planes instead of planes because I have two there now. And we're going to jump over to payload and just make sure you've give them something because without giving them something they ain't going to be very effective. Uh, since they have the cap roll, you can have any one of these caps, or you can give them what you want. So I'm just going to choose this one. It's going to make them a little dangerous. I'm going to choose the Air Force Standard early, and again, delivery doesn't matter. It's really a matter of opinion and what you want. Let's do that one. And then I'm going to click. See it's selected two right now? If I go back, because I selected two last. One should have the same payload. But I think if you start with one and you don't go forward to two, it doesn't give them the payload or the skin that you just chose. And you have to make sure they both have a payload. Okay. So now, these guys are clients. And since I own the flanker, but to make this interesting, let's go one step further. Let's add another plane. I'm going to right click because remember, when you have this up over here, you're, you're still stuck in that mode. Remember, make sure to right click. Good habit to get into. I'm going to choose a plane again. I'm going to choose USA. I'm going to choose an F 16 this time. I'm going to stick him here. Let's zoom in now. And we're going to do takeoff from runway. And the mission is going to be cap. I'm in the waypoint edition mode right now because add is depressed. And I'm going to go waypoint one. And then waypoint two out this way. And at waypoint two, we're going to go and highlight our cap. And we're going to go edit, and I'm going to change that from cap to search and engage in zone. And now I have a zone, and I'm going to grab that with the left. I'm going to stick that here, and I'm going to make that bubble bigger. Let's make that uh, 300. Ah, eh, 300 is a bit much. And really, I'm going to grab it again, pull it back because we want to pull it back because what's going to happen is these guys are flying at 350 knots so we're going to send them out here and they might well you know what he's going to pass them in route anyway so we're going to do this stick it right about here and we're going to choose skill good also I'm going to click the two to add a second one so he's going to do the same thing now as the other one and we're going to go into the payload now. And he's set up for cap, so we're going to choose from the cap options. And I'm going to choose 120s with AIM 9Xs and fuels. I'm going to leave deliveries alone just for argument's sake. Since I started with two. Aha! This is why you want to check. Sometimes I don't understand what happens in this. Sometimes if you start with two, then you go backwards. It takes what you gave two and gives it to one. It didn't do that this time. So there's some weird things that go on with this sometimes that I'm not quite sure about, but we're going to choose that so we have the same payload. We're going to go back, and we're going to save this now. That's going to tell this F-16 to take off, and he's going to be an AI, and he's going to help me out. But at the same time, it's also going to let me jump into the SU-27 and fight the F-16 now. We're going to go save. We're going to go fly mission. Start. And now, I have this option, choice of coalition. I can choose red or blue side. I'm going to choose red, 
and now it's going to let me choose one of the SU-27s. Okay. And now I'm in the SU-27. Pretty cool. And now I'm going to hit F2. There's the other MiG that's in the air. But also, that F-16 has taken off, and he's going to be looking for me. So now, I've just created a second scenario within a scenario that allows me to fight the F-16. Now, at the same time, since he's AI, he's going to do whatever he was told already. He's not a client. I'm going to choose Coalition again. I'm going to go to Blue. I'm going to choose one of my F-18s. And now, I'm in my F-18. There's the MiG. There's the F-16. And there's the flanker. So, you can continue to add to this and take away from this and add to this and take away from this all you want but that is the basics to just get started I believe um, if you want to fly something make sure you choose player or client if you want to add friends make sure you add another plane that you both own the module of and pick client for that plane make sure you give them a payload or you're gonna start and not have anything if you're starting in the air on the ground, of course, when you start on the ground, you still have the option of, you know, asking the uh, flight crew to change your ordinance around. Alright guys, that about covers it for part two of my series of mission editor basics for DCS World. Um, I hope you're not afraid to jump in the mission editor now and uh, give things a shot. You really can't hurt anything. Uh, it's definitely worthwhile to jump in there and get your feet wet with it. Um, practice makes perfect, essentially, like everything. The more you do something, the better you're going to get at it. Um, I am by no means an expert on using this mission editor. I just wanted to show you guys what I've done with it and what my experience is of it so far. And it's not terribly difficult. Uh, there's a bunch of other videos out there that go into detail on various topics like creating triggers and you know doing the in-depth stuff with triggered zones and I've even done a couple videos a while back on how to like you know once you kill a group to have another group spawn in to kind of give you something else to shoot at to kind of create that really cool tur turkey shoot scenario so you can practice your air to air skills and how to create an air to ground mission um, but again I am by no means an expert on creating a completely uh, perfect military scenario mission, you know, that's by the book or anything like that, nor do I claim to do that. Um, but again, this is just some basic stuff so you can jump in there and start having fun with it. Um, so I hope it's helpful. Uh, I wanted to thank you guys for watching. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Feel free to hit that like button. And until next time, guys.